almost just saw a whole crash, bro. Dude, I'm leaning so much! is going on guys welcome back to the channel it has been a little bit since this channel has had an upload today we are going to do something pretty cool man i'm crossing something off of my bucket list and i am buying another ducati if you guys haven't seen on the channel for a while i've had a v4s ducati that i have loved it is so freaking fast and it's one of the most quality bikes that i have ever owned now the v4s is one of their highest end bikes that they even have it's the fastest most obscene bike that they pretty much sell but there is a lot of other bikes that they sell as well and today we're going to pick up another one we have arrived to our designated meetup spot walmart like bouncing, there you know? go yeah yeah yo yo that's it that's it he just drove by he literally just drove by back whenever i was a kid i fell in love with ducatis just watching youtube videos oh damn what oh 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 and here it is guys What's up, man? That is so sick. Guys, before we get into today's video, if you go grab anything like our new products here, you might be taking home the title keys and cash to the SRT10 truck, or for the next 60 days only, you might also be taking home the title and keys to this Ducati. So a little bit of backstory. Whenever I was a kid, I fell in love with Ducatis, man. Whenever the V4s first came out, I set it as a goal for myself to have one. Finally, I did, but I always, since day one, have wanted to try one of these out, but I've never had the opportunity to until today. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. I'm Gavin. Hey, Very cool bike, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, man. That's very, very clean. Now, see, the blinker is the only issue. It looks like with it, huh? Someone kicked that at one point and then the cover, I just realized that came out. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So okay. That's about it. Well, hell yeah. As soon as she gets here with the title, then yeah, it looks let me like. Call her. She's two minutes up the road, so let me call her. It I've got cool. cash ready to go, so I'm pretty much good to go. We're probably just going to ride it back from here. Perfect. Everything looks great. It's uh, only got 6,000 miles on it, too. With the duck shop down in Atlanta? Nah, I haven't been there yet, no. So, a little bit of the backstory on this. From what I understand on the bike is at the duck shop, you can see here. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, duck shop, whenever you turn it on, the ignition, it has duck shop racing. They have all the information on it, but right. I think the engine's blueprinted. They did a full build exhaust. What? No so, shit. Um, don't know. That's cool. It, it entirely, but that is so cool, dude. Yeah, this is insane. The funniest part about it all is this Termignone exhaust is a very expensive carbon exhaust, and I had the same one on my first ever Ducati, too. They sound really, really good. It's in great shape, too. Only 6,000 miles. And you said that it did have a recent service. It just needs another one probably sometime soon. Well, so last season, I changed the oil on it. Yeah. Uh, but I have it this season. So okay. That's where I'm going. Oh, okay, but, sick. Uh, that was fast. You weren't kidding. Yeah, right around yeah, the corner. Right down the corner. Yeah, okay. Well, so, I'll get you some uh, cash real quick, too. How long have you been doing YouTube? We've been doing YouTube technically for like almost seven years now, full nice. time. I dropped out of school to do it like, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, probably five, six years ago now. Sweet. Somebody gonna come snatch this shit. <laughs> Gotta be careful out here, man. Here, if you want, you can count this. I trust you won't pull off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is everything, all the services, the owner that I had before me. Awesome, dude. That's cool. Where it was initially bought. What? Dude, that's so Damn. cool. $17,900. Mm -hmm. I think it had an original price of $18,000. It should be it. You want me to put that in here? Sure, yeah, man. Thank you so much for being so organized no, and making problem. such an easy transaction. Is that everything, man? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This is the first ride on a Hyper. So guys, these are the Ducati Hyper Motards. This one is an 1100cc Hyper Motard. Basically, this is a very very big displacement engine on a dirt bike chassis obviously not a dirt bike but it's definitely like an off-road feeling thing <laughs> here we go dude oh my gosh <laughs> the seating position on this thing is so wild bro oh whoa it makes so much torque the clutch is so grabby this thing makes so much torque oh this is fun oh yeah this is immediately 
This is immediately a ton of fun. Oh my goodness, dude. Dang. Dang, that Mustang looks so good, dude. Red on red. This is this is pretty cool. I need to be careful on this thing, but it feels like it would be so much fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This has a lot of power. Like a lot, a lot of power on tap. More than expected, actually. Hello. How are you? You look so beautiful in there. My little bike. My little bike kind of fast. Beat your ass. Yeah. Beat your ass. You like it? Pretty cool, huh? I wonder if it would be better riding on that one than the other one. Yes. Way more comfy. Yeah! Looky there, already picking up chicks on my new bike, man. My dumbass forgot to strap my helmet, so I'm doing that right now. Sorry for like the awkward silence. <laughs> A moment of silence for my ignorance. And there we go. Oh yeah, that feels way better. Oh yeah, dude. Opening it up. Woo! Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, no, nah, this thing this thing would wheelie with ease. It would wheelie with ease. I, I'm gonna have to be careful. Holy shit. This feels like if you guys have ever ridden a dirt bike, Ducati basically made this bike to feel just like you were on a dirt bike, but on the public road. This thing is 100% street legal. But the craziest part about it is that it is pretty much set up to just go off road with a change of wheels and tires, but mainly just the tires. So I'm thinking about, oh, there's a big ass bug in the windscreen, bro. Oh God, oh God. So I'm really thinking about getting some dang knobbies for this thing and taking it off road. Bro, it gets down. Woo, hold up. Oh, dude, in a wide wheelie, so easy! <laughs> Damn it, why does this happen? Why every time do I go to give anything away and I'm just like, yeah, but I love it! <laughs> just a little teaser for you guys. Every dollar spent right now, and it's just a six.com, is not only gonna get you entries in to win our SRT10 Viper truck that has a V10 manual trans in it. It is a crazy truck, but now you can get entries in to win this insane bike too, bro. In the next month, somebody that buys off of the site, we're just randomly picking and we're going to give you a motorcycle. Whoa! He was right. It does feel like this thing needs some tire pressure. Can't see. No, it doesn't look like it, but it feels like it. It feels very slick up front. I don't like it. Oh, dude, this is so cool. I don't know this bike like that yet, so I'm being careful leaning on it. But the most fun part about these bikes that I've been told is the fact that they can handle it in turns remarkably well. And that was my first little bit of testing with that. I'm proud to be an American. Bro, this thing actually might beat the Mustang in the race. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe not top end, but like low end, this thing kind of crazy. It's pretty wicked. Po is going to trip out. He's been wanting to come and ride motorcycles with me, but we haven't had any ability for him to until now. He doesn't have the way to get. Oh my god. He's been working on his Mustang a lot, so he hasn't had the funding to get a bike of his own. So in the next few weeks while we have this, he's gonna be filming and riding a lot with me too. We're gonna be having a lot of fun coming up, so you guys definitely cannot miss that i genuinely gotta say so far i am impressed with this bike this is pretty eye-opening to how cool this could probably be off-road with some off-road nollies it's crazy to think this was an eighteen thousand dollar bike in 2008 when it came out we just got this thing now for seven thousand dollars damn man i love it facebook marketplace finds are good sometimes <laughs> Just don't want none. You don't want none! Oh yeah, the dirt bike is faster! Let's go! <laughs> I know who all the Ducati dudes are gonna be disgraced. I'm calling it a dirt bike, but you know what I mean. The Hyper Motard! I can't call it that. The Hyper Motard is faster than the Mustang! How much shit would that be? Oh, you want? Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that! 
<laughs> I ain't trying to be a child, but like, no, I'm blind. I guess I'm not surprised with what he was saying. It sounds like this engine might be kind of built. He said the engine was blueprinted, which basically means it was gone through, built, custom, hand tightened, and torqued everything, and like, check tolerances to be perfect, and then tuned. That's what it sounded like he was saying. So if that's all accurate, this bike actually is more badass than what I was thinking when we first saw the listing for it. Wow. One thing I can never say I regret is moving here, dude. It's so gorgeous compared to where I grew up. Even just doing something as simple as driving an hour and a half to go pick up a motorcycle is just such beautiful landscape. After our whole trip out west, man, I, <laughs> I will never take our trees for granted again over here. There are not many trees at all once you get outside of Texas, I tell you what. And barely even any in Texas, I tell you what, Lloyd. Let's see what we look like. Oh, yo. Look like a gangster in that bitch. What? Oh, shit, guys. Oh, he was merging over on me, dude. Y'all saw that? I got out though. I said, every day is a gamble. That's why we treat life like a casino. That's why we say shout like Al Pacino, even on the bicyclino. Oh yeah. Oh bro, this feels real good. Oh, we almost did a little slip. You heard that? We definitely need some air up front. That was almost bad. We weren't even tilted over that much. Alright, let's see if we can get some air in here. Let's go. I don't know how much air that these call for, but oh, we're gonna hope that it's 32. How much we got in there right now? Nine. Okay. Look at that, dude. Forged Marchesini wheels on this thing, brother. Forged wheels on the dirt bike. You got those? You could. It's just a six.com. Brother, does your dirt bike have carbon fiber and coolers? Look at all the car look at the carbon fiber. Bro, look at the carbon fiber. Bro, look at the carbon fiber. You know what I'm saying? Just since the front wheel was low, I'm gonna go ahead and check the rear wheel as well. Dude, it's so cool. It's got the same brand wheels, obviously, as my Ducati, but that's like sick to see. And the single-sided swing arm, dude. That's the most famous part about Ducatis. And the back had 14. Oh my gosh. I had 9 PSI in the front tire and 14 PSI in the rear. I was riding here and it was like, skirt, skirt. Every time I was trying to lean, I was like, oh my God. It was low. He wasn't lying, he hasn't ridden it in a long time. This is so cool to see, dude. I've always wanted to see one of these up close. They're just such rare bikes that you don't really get to see them hardly anywhere. In fact, thinking about it, I don't even know if I've seen one of these in person before. That's kind of crazy, but I mean, I'm sure I have, but I can't remember right off when. This might be time number one. All right, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this a whole lot more now, I think. Let's be, oh, what the? Oh yeah, okay, that is definitely what was going on. Jess is running inside real quick to go to the bathroom. While she's in there, I'm gonna try and put some fuel in here for the first time. It's got a very interesting gas cap, dude. I actually like that. That's cool, that right there. He said it's been a while since it's been ridden. So just in case, I'm going to fill this thing up because we're about to get on a pretty long drive and there's not much fuel to be found after this. Oh, we got another bike. We got, oh, a little CBR 600. CBR 600 action, okay. Top her up, oh. Hello. She only took a gallon, but hey, let's go. All right, fueled up, aired up. I really just want to like wheelie this thing in the parking lot now. It feels so good, bro. Woo, y'all almost just saw a whole crash. Y'all almost just saw that live. I really did not grip that good enough. Y'all would have loved that. That would have been great content, brother. I almost just literally whiskey throttled this bitch. Oh my, yeah. I'm a whole dumbass. Why? Oh, you'll see, you're gonna love it. Uh, I almost crashed right there. This bike, this bike is so fun that it's kind of dangerous. It's kind of dangerous. It's the problem is, is it makes, the problem, <laughs> he said wheelie it. Uh, no, let's learn, man. I just tried. I just tried. I need some gloves. That's really the problem. I got slippery hands from like the sweat, and my ass went and did the crank, and I went whoop. I learned that these things make a good bit of torque. All right, ready? Let's get it. All right. Well, now I am going to be gripping the handlebars with not only 
just my hands like this, but as you see, my fingers are gonna go under the clutch lever like they're supposed to when you do a wheelie. That's why you have shorty levers typically, so your hands can still hold and you just have one finger on the clutch lever like that. So that way whenever you dump the clutch like I just did, then you do a wheelie and your hands are held onto the handlebars and you don't slip off like I almost just did. All right, let's go. All jokes aside though, motorcycles are dangerous. Be careful, be careful for sure. Me and this girl have been through the world together, dude. It seems like, I don't even know. <laughs> seems like we have conquered the entire world at this point. We have so much more to go. Love having her in my life. Find you somebody supportive and don't stop until you do. I'm telling you, it's so worth it. So worth it. So, so worth it. When you do, hold on for dear life. <laughs> I wonder if she would feel if I hit her. See, I want a wheelie, but there's a cop up there, and also I feel like I'm gonna bust my ass. This bike makes a lot of power. I wasn't prepared for it, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that's like 40% throttle on a clutch jump. It really just wants to get up so easy. Don't pull me over, sir. We are just passing through. We are passerbyers. We are comers and goers, sir. And right now we are going. We have already come. What up, baby? No. No, I didn't. That was somebody else. Hi. Nope. <laughs> ah, abuse, abuse. Ah, somebody help. Somebody. Oh, you can push me over. Comment down below, which one sounds better, the Ducati or the Mustang? <laughs> she flipped me off. <laughs> hey, there is the first glimpse of the mountain that we are headed to right now. see that mountain real good man oh yeah now they got air in the tires this thing feels like a dream in the curves man i can definitely see how people like ripping these things around here it feels so foreign just being in an upright position but yeah being able to just lean this thing over like that so crazy bro what the hell this thing can get it definitely want to be careful leaning over these turns being that i don't even know what tires these are i assume there's something pretty good Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is awesome. I know you guys can't probably tell the angle that we're leaning over on these GoPros, but this right here, yeah, this is a pretty good one. <laughs> this is a pretty good one for this big old tall bike, dude. We just stood up a pretty good bit. It just cuts like butter. Look how beautiful the views are, man. Tell me this isn't just to die for. Look at that. Man, man, when we lived in Louisiana, I swear, I felt like I was trapped. I didn't know if I'd ever be able to make it out of that. That's why this suit makes me so, like, emotional almost. I just feel like a certain type of way coming out here and doing this kind of stuff. Because I'm like, dude, this is what I dreamed of. You know? Like, damn. To be able to chase my girl in a Mustang through the mountains on a Ducati is just kind of crazy. That's a little bit unreal. Oh, nice little CO6 action. Okay, a quick little thumbs up. Yeah, these bikes are fine, dude. The fact that the same exact bike could be out here doing this, and you can also put on different tires and just go straight up the mountain right there, is kind of cool. Oh yeah, this is crazy. What the fuck? Damn, man. And there is nobody out here. Oh yeah. Woo. That thing is so cool. Yeah, you can see that we aren't even pushing really far at all on these tires, but they are Pirelli's. Not, you know, I'm not gonna hate on nobody, but I will say that there are better tires for sure that we could get on here. Look at that beautiful view. I don't know, what's more beautiful, the view or you? Probably you. Are you me? No, I'm talking to Mustang. Oh, Sally. Mm. Sally, Rob. But seriously though, I am like nothing short of impressed with this thing. After we put air in the tires, it felt way better. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I, can't it was that low. I know. That's a dirt bike, basically. Have you had a chance to like look at it? 
Yeah. It's really cool. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. The fact that it's already got the full exhaust on it, as you guys can see, there's no catalytic converters on this thing. There's no, like, I don't know. I even see a O2 sensor on this motherfucker. They got a O2 sensor, right? What the fuck? Man, I'm not gonna fanboy too No, you're good, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Yo, what is done to the car? I heard you flying around the corner. <laughs> it's stock. It's really? Fun. Yeah. I mean, oh, I got yeah. coilovers on it and I uh, upgraded the brakes. Damn. But that's about it. So that makes sense then. You just beating that thing out here, <laughs> dude. That's badass to see. Dude. That's clean though. I like that. We just bought that bike. So I was on our way back. It's our new giveaway bike. We're giving it away along with our truck. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. No, I bought one of y'all's, uh, or one of your uh, books, the Don't Lose Sight book. And the then book? I got, what? Yeah, there's like I a little even... like note, notebook. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. like a notebook. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got uh, you. I was like, damn, somebody like wrote a book. Chain, like a hell of a long time ago, right in my truck. That's it cool, was like bro. A, what did it say? Oh, yeah, they, you say, they say that you can't outshift an auto. But yeah, you know, but damn it, I'll try. That's I a good one. I had to get rid one. of it, though, because it's an auto. Yeah, one. yeah. yeah. Cool. That man, I wish I would have recorded it. He's came around here. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> flying. I got to check this out. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. It's still stock, but I'm, like, not even joking. Two, watch, I'm going to spoil something, too, for the video. Right. Literally at 4 o'clock, so three hours ago, I got a text from the owner of Lethal Performance, and that's the Whipple uh, the supercharger that's coming for it. So it'll be that shipped is. out tomorrow for that car. It's color matched. That it's got some awesome. color covered over it but anyway can we oh, make it careful oh yeah you Safe too travels. yeah you too man have a good again. afternoon dude oh, oh shit. you all right yep i'm good <laughs> yeah this bike could be so fast if you wanted it to be dude i'm telling you just sit there's so much power at the twist of a throttle Woo! yeah bro i mean it just had some serious get up where did jess go there's no way i lost her already I was not going that fast. What the fuck? What? Phone girl, there ain't no way you're going that slow. No. What? Ain't no way this bike that fast. Kind of feels like it though. It's kind of, kind of heavy. Especially around the turns. It gets down and it goes. Like, dude, that was 80. That was 79 miles an hour. Just barely rolling into the throttle. Oh my gosh! The brakes are good though, they're still good, I'm not gonna lie. I do mean it when I say this bike is like a dirt bike, but yet has enough power to run from the cops on the street. Oh, it had a little bit of a hiccup there at full throttle. Did we see that? That looked like a problem. Uh-oh. What was that? Let's check coolant temps real quick. 185s. The coolant tests are good. What was that? I wonder why I choked like that. That was weird. I'm gonna do another hit up here just to see what is going on. I'm curious if that was like a problem or if I don't know. Something seemed odd there. No, feels good. I don't know. Yeah, my review of the Ducati Hyper Motard 1100 so far is like literally nothing negative. Gosh, it winds out so good. I don't know what that little blip was back there. Maybe bad fuel, but I don't know. He did say it's been sitting for a bit. Maybe it just needs the injectors cleaned. For $7,000, guys, I'm telling you, this is like the best bike that you can buy. I swear. Oh my gosh, it winds out so loud, dude. It just wants to go. Why is this this aggressive? Holy shit! Dude, I'm leaning so much! Are you for real? Are you for real? Oh my god! <laughs> and then it just corners so low! No, no way! Oh! Okay! Alright, I see where the hype is about these. Oh, there it was again, hiccup again. What was that? Why is it hiccuping? That's okay, that's okay. There's usually a catch with everything. Hopefully this is not a big catch though. Hopefully this is something small and easy. It only seems to be doing it sometimes. Other than that, it's running strong. But if that happened in a turn while I'm leaning over and it just cuts power like that, I'm in a big pickle. Let's try again. Yeah, so it's good. I don't know why. But I'm 
making sure that it's nothing. It doesn't feel like anything's hurt with the motor, so that's good. Dude, I've never been on anything like this. This is a one of one unique experience. These bikes are seriously cool, especially with the 1100 on it. This is just, wow, this thing is whipper. <laughs> I did not know that these bikes were that fast. I really wasn't fucking expecting that. I was just thinking it'd be a fun little dirt bike. Did I just accidentally buy a dirt bike that's way faster than I thought? It's just so fun! Whoa! God, I'm gonna get in trouble on this. I'm gonna crash it or I'm gonna get in trouble. Something. Something's gonna happen. What do you guys think? Cast your votes in the comments below. Do y'all think I'm gonna break something or do y'all think I'm gonna get in trouble first? <laughs> Alright, so that's it. You just can't be a bitch. You just can't be a bitch. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. Damn it. This thing feels good, boy. Woo! makes me want to act a fool oh this thing is so good yep i like that daddy likey me gusta me gusta <laughs> loser <laughs> she yelled that was fun all right go ahead and lock this what you said huh That's what the GZ350 sounded like. <laughs> Hola! So this one's a little bit more special than I thought. Is this a special hypermoto? Mm-hmm. What is it? Apparently, the duck shop is like a special thing. And allegedly, this thing has a blueprinted built engine in it. And allegedly, has had the exhaust and an intake and a tune and stuff. That's crazy. It's wild. So this and is like timing chain covers? That's crazy. Dude, it's so fast. It beat the S650 from a roll race on the highway, 60 to 130. <laughs> 1100 cc's on a dirt bike chassis. That's crazy. Carbon it's everywhere though. Clean too. And guys, as cool as my new Ducati is, the coolest part about it is that it could be your new Ducati. If you go to itsjustasix.com, you can grab anything like this shirt, a hoodie, a hat, a cup, and you might be taking on the title keys and cash to not only our SRT10 Viper truck, but also for the next 60 days, the new Ducati Hyper Motard 1100. You guys definitely gotta turn on notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like, comment down below and let us know what we should do to this bike. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for the support and I will see you next video.